it's John Gadini. Don't laugh at me, I look like shit, I'm not working today. Hey, uh, everybody's doing a, a drumming video, a nail video, and I'm going to use Skosh, because she's my little 14-year-old palm, and she is, um, not only needs to be groomed, but um, she has, is 14, and I know you can't tell, a whole other topic will be why you don't shave palms closer than an inch. Anyway, she's 14, and I've been doing a zero teddy bear cut, and as you can see, this is how it grows out all crazy. Well, anyway, I'll hurry. And, um, I have to do her nails literally every week because she has, uh, what's called blown stifles. She has no kneecaps. If you took an x-ray of her, there is, the ball is flat and it's not in the socket. So she gets along really good, but I have hardwood floors. And I'm also six foot tall, have huge man hands, and this is how I do toy breeds. And, of course, she's exceptionally perfect. And what I do is I like my big giant um, pet edge Dremel tool and I have several different bits on sticks myself and what I do um, I love this thing because it's so powerful but I hold a lot of the toy dogs like a baby because I just find they're better and they go submissive faster and some dogs are butt heads but what I do I don't know if you could tell I'm not close enough to the video but I don't file or anything I let the Dremel do everything I rarely even clip, um, especially my two and four weaker dogs. And I grind hers back to the quick. She just kind of lets me know, but this is a rare instance where this dog, my dog, literally has to have no nails, um, or she can't walk. And I take the nail and I just completely round the end with the Dremel. Oh, she got a chunk of sap in there. I live in the woods. I am going to do her a prince tail. I have a wonderful um, purple dye called Punky Color, and I'm going to do her tail purple and carve a purple heart in her soon. And she's a trooper. Okay, now I'll do the front nails real quick, so I'll be able to post this video. And what I do is I have my hand around their rib cage, not squeezing whatsoever. Um, oh, I wanted to show you my other Dremel tool. Kind of a POS from Master Grooming. But I like that it's electric and it has a variable speed. And it goes to kick ass to do a German Shepherd. Anyway, here's how I do front nails. 90% of my toy dogs are fine with this. Yes, I have acrylic nails. I'm trying to save them once in a while I ding them up. But what I do is I just take my thumb, pull the hair back and do my little rounded thing. Take my finger, check it. Same thing, use my little thumb, pull that hair back. And I'm pretty talented, so I just grab another foot. I'm still supporting her under her armpits. She's completely relaxed. Of course, my dog is perfect, huh? But most of my toy dogs, especially your butthead chihuahuas, um, I just find it's easier for me to hold them. Plus, like, this dog has bad joints. I would never, ever, ever put her on a table and pull her leg out. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Bye.